so welcome back everybody to uh, the Mofok. And uh, today we're gonna be working on this. Hold on one sec, please. I need to close the door. So, um, today we're gonna be working on uh, fixing this bad boy up. So, uh, today we're gonna be working on the bits right here, I believe. The bits right here, yeah. Uh, so, I'm gonna be working on the rocks, and then uh, from the rocks on, we're gonna be moving upwards towards making the big giant tree. So, that's what we're gonna be working on, at least. So now we're going to be looking for what we are looking at. This one, right? Yes. So this is the part where we need to be. All right, the rock part. Um, we need to get towards the rock itself. Go back to uh, 3.7, around 3.7, and then we can start. So yeah, um, that has been a lovely week, I'll tell you that, and uh, I'm actually feeling excited to work on this again, even though, you know, I will be working on it probably more, but I also have to do some more things because I'm actually t uh, f really retarded when it comes to uh, remembering stuff, jeez. So um, I realized, yet, uh, I realized today that I actually have uh, that I actually have less time to do something uh, than I thought it would be so I actually got myself a double booking so I need to make sure that I do that pro uh, very fast otherwise you know the the whole damn thing is gonna be falling apart so yeah I'm gonna be working on that and hopefully you know once we're uh, once I'm done with it uh, you guys will probably see the result as well. So yeah, I need to get a drawing done before uh, three weeks. Yeah, I only have three weeks, two weeks even, I believe. So yeah, I uh, need to do that and hopefully uh, I will be uh, able to get to that point really fast. So yeah, today we're going to be working on these rocks, and then hopefully, you know, once these rocks are done, all of the drawing is going to be done less problematic, I guess. So, um, I actually want to be doing this, because I actually want to work on these rocks a little bit better. And then there you go. Much better effect. So what we're going to be doing here is actually creating these rock effects, uh, well, rock texture that needs to be drawn anyway. Over the sketch. So we're going to create this rock effect, even though, you know, it might not be existing right now, but um, I'm hoping now we'll get that rock effect done properly. So yeah, um, most of the drawing here is actually just me just going to be drawing rocks today because, well, you know, rocks, they need to be drawn. And we know that, you know, they need to be drawn because of all the stuff that needs to be done with it. Of course, you know, the rocks are not going to be looking like they are now, like really smooth, they need to be a little bit more rock-like. Which, there comes the difficulty, because, you know, we're working on a big rock. That means that, you know, tiny parts of the rock are probably going to be not as standout as the ones that are tiny, because they're easier to make, because of all the less problematical things that you have to be um, keeping in mind. So, for instance, here... 
can just merely move that up. And then we can smooth this up to get to from point A to point B if we want. Which I think I will do. So we have this rock that has like a smooth top side. The main problem of that is that, of course, you need to make it look like it's still a rock and not something like an object that just represents a rock. So I need to make it rock looking like, but I need to implement the effect that I want to give it. So this light, um, light texture effect, which of course, you know, comes when you just draw and what I'm actually doing is like, I'm doing this. So I'm drawing these little, this is actually the texture I'm using. By repeating that, it will create the rock effect that we are needing to have. So, of course, you know, the closer you do it together, the more nicer the effect gets. Yeah, probably that's the word. Of course, you know, we want to make sure that this effect lasts until we are getting everything that we want to be in our drawing. So now we can say like, well, what do we want more? Well, we want to actually make the edges a little bit more. Yeah, we want the edges a little bit more uh, carved out. So now we have a rock that stands out, that does look like a rock, that acts like a rock, but you know, it's the drawing that counts. So now we have this rock that actually works like a rock, acts like a rock feels like a rock and has some differences between the rock parts. That's the idea. We're gonna do the same here with this one. Well, let's let's start with a tiny one and then go to the next one from there on. So with the tiny ones you can just, you know, do this kind of effect. Which does create the rock effect that we need. Well, it creates the rock synergy with it. There you go. And that's how quickly it gets done. So now you have a rock that looks like a rock, acts like a rock, feels like a rock. It's very easy because you know you just draw over you draw over the same line multiple times until you get the texture that you want. Of course, you know, some parts of the rock might be a little bit more different than others. Like for instance here, I need to actually implement that this rock is uh, bloated and then, you know, goes under, uh, behind the other one. This will create the effect that, you know, this rock does feel like a bloated rock. Of course, you know, once once the bloating is going away, then yeah, that's gonna be a problem, but the idea is that we're just gonna be drawing rocks. And only rocks, because rocks. I mean, really. It's not, yeah. it's not like uh, I can do anything about it, because, you know, I need to make sure that this rock feels like a rock, and I cannot just put arms on it or legs on it or anything else. I'm just trying to keep consistent with the the rock effect of the rocks that I'm already drawn. This consistency creates the believability of that these are the rocks. Even though you might think that these techniques are not always the same that I use, well, maybe, I don't know. I don't pay too much attention to that, but I know one thing for sure, this is a rock. Because if I now look at this, and I look at it like from a, sm uh, from a small distance, yeah, that feels like a rock to me. It doesn't feel like something else. And that's the idea. You need to get that, you need to get that effect consistently going. And uh, by doing this, uh, this rock will actually feel like a rock more precise, it will feel like the rock that we are trying to create. Of course, you know, sometimes 
things like these happen. These nasty little bubbles. Or, well, nasty little effects that happen because of, you know, the way of how the grass is shaped. So, um, with this rock, we actually need to get this rock a little bit more different on the effect. I already fucked it up. No, no, I cannot fuck it up. Alright, so the effect of this rock needs to be that it is a rock. So we need to make sure that the effect losses, lo lasts at every single part. So the idea is that this grass is sitting on this rock. On multiple rocks, let's put it that way. So this grass will sit, it sits on multiple parts of the rock. Of course, you know the rock um, needs to. It needs the grass needs to feel like it sits on the rock, not like the rock, uh, not like the grass sits on something that is called a rock instead. So by doing this and then you know implementing that there is more than just one rock in this part, I like to give this like a little bit of a uh, well detail boost and now you can see that there are now multiple rocks so this rock is not related to this one that's the main idea so now we're gonna go towards the upper part and we're gonna draw that one why are we doing it like that because otherwise the rock won't work of course you know the amount of rocks that we have already it's good that we are keeping the consistency because otherwise the rocks will look strange and therefore misformed and therefore the drawing will look misformed. Even though you know we're drawing fantasy, it doesn't mean that you know you're not supposed to keep consistency within the fantasy parts of your drawing. For instance, the Marfog, I kept consistency with the amount of the wing, the wing, the wings, how they are drawn, uh, the body itself. I kept consistency in that to make sure that I don't, you know, fall behind in the consistency part. Because it's important that we have consistency in the drawing itself. And that we keep and that we keep that. Especially with rocks. Ugh. Sometimes when you have not consistency in rocks, it gets really weird. Trust me. And I know. Oh hey, German Salami. I believe, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice to see you again, but yeah, um, the amount of uh, uh, the amount of rocks that I have right here, it's insane. It's it's a lot of rocks, and uh, probably there's gonna be more rocks. But these the, 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 uh, these ones are the most intensive ones because they are the rock, the last part of the rocks that need to be drawn before we get to the big giant tree. And they need to be believable that they are rocks. And therefore, you know, we need to add some kind of effects to it. To make sure that they are looking like rocks and not like something that is just, you know, a drawing. Alright, um, so now, once we're done with that part, which we are, we're gonna now add the last bit of rocks that we need. So this one is a little bit more rounded. Well, not rounded, more like, you know, smoothed, smoothed out, and then this one is just, you know, there to represent that part. Alright. Now we've done it. We have successfully drawn the rocks on the part that we needed to draw. And once we are cancelling out this, we can now see that this is actually looking quite nice. So now we have the grass, which we need to color because apparently we forgot to color the grass in that part. I don't have to worry about screwing that part up because, well, we're just adding grass. There's nothing wrong with it, nothing right with it anyway. So now that we have added the grass, we can now remove the parts that we don't need. And we should definitely lower down the brush size because, well, we don't wanna we don't wanna have too much of trouble there. So now we have grass that is there. We need to highlight it a little bit, so we're gonna pick up the color that we need. 
Now we're gonna pick up the brush again that we have, this one. Now we need to select the highlights because that's the important part now. So that we have the amount of, that we have the things that can slowly get from point A to point B. So now, pressing this, and that should work on this, so. Now this grass will look a little bit more younger because it has this effect, this uh, lovely effect, and we can also lower it a little bit. So we also need like something like this color right here. And because we're using the alpha settings, nothing is gonna be happening to anything of this. It's just that it's gonna create a little bit of shading. All right, that looks lovely. Now we're gonna go to the part where the rocks are. So we're gonna pick up the or original color that the rocks have, and then we're gonna use that color to get to the base baseline of this whole damn thing. So this is the main color of the rocks, and now we're gonna draw on uh, over it. Blech. There you go. Oh hey, space junk. Nice to see you as well. Uh, all right, rocks. It's always lovely to see rocks. I mean, it's always great to see rocks. And these rocks need to be drawn. Ugh. Well, colored at least. But this is gonna be taking this is gonna be taking the most hardest part because now we need to have the rocks. We need to have the colors with it, and then we need to have also the shading inside of the rocks. So we have three things that we need to worry about. The first thing is that we have the colors of the rock, and then the right amount of colors, lighting, and all that stuff. Once we're done with that, we need to do also the shading on the rocks. And then we can finally move on to the big giant tree in the background. Because once this is done, we can then, you know, implement the tree, and then from there we can then implement the next thing that we want to draw. So the tree is going to be next because it's more important than, you know, drawing more rocks, because it's bad to fill up things. It is better to just find out, like, oh well, I just need to fill up this area instead of like a big giant area full of rocks. I made that mistake with the boat project, so I'm not gonna make that mistake twice. I mean, really, not make that mistake twice. Also, um, I probably should tonight do some stuff, homework, because I actually need to finish one of the designs for a t-shirt that I'm trying to design, so yep, I need to finish that up before it's gonna be hitting myself in the back because I'm very good at backstabbing myself. It's like, oh yes, I forgot this, I forgot that. I don't forget. I don't forget them like really bad. I, I just forget them because I am not good at writing down when and how and what. So yeah, trying to fix that in no time. So now we have this lovely rock part done. We can now focus on getting the parts that we need. So now we need to get the colors up and running. Ooh, colors. So how do you do this? Well, you pr you pick up the you pick up the pencil again and then we're going to be just adding the First we're going to add the lighter part. Uh we're first going to add the lighter part to it. These parts are very important and so we're going to do that first and then we're going to do the, uh, the heavier part. So as you can see, we can just draw over it, and then, you know, you can see the lighter parts smoothing up without any effort whatsoever, and I can decide how much I want them to light up. Which creates a cool effect, especially when, when you have, like, rocks stacked upon each other, and you can know now, now you can have, like, this effect just goes everywhere. Because that's how rocks work. I believe. I never have studied rocks in real life. I just have a book about them. I don't have anything about them at all, but I know one thing for sure. When you highlight the rocks, then they will stand out. Duh. Because there's light on. That's what it means, highlighting. But for now, I'm just gonna do my job and get these rocks up and running. And how much time already have we done? Uh, it's already a half an hour and cheese. 
when you're having fun with rocks, you have like really fast timing. And I'm like, what the hell? How did I do this? And I'm like, well, you believed in magic. So here it is, magic time. It goes way quicker than you think. Whoa. So yeah, I mean, it's a, it's it's very nice to see how much time I I already have done with this drawing and how much time and effort I already have put into it. And now seeing it getting more and more colored in, more and more drawn in, and you can already see like, ah, yes, these rocks are fine. They're really nice. They're really nice looking. Are they a little bit too light? Uh, no, they had, they are not too light on top of it, right? What do I need to actually do more? What do I need to actually draw stronger? It looks like I need to draw a strong raven. Oh, I have drawn a little too light. I press too light on the button. Well, I'll get, I'll get, I'll, I'll get to that point. I'll get to that point. Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll get to it. I'll get to it. So we have drawn too weak on the uh, tool brush. So we now actually need to uh, draw more heavier uh, the colors. So we need to draw more tougher lines. Oh well. We can sharpen up. We can sharpen it up eventually. We just need to get these rocks up and running properly. It's nice that I'm actually using the uh, the brush. Uh, I'm actually using the same tool as I'm doing for the lines. This actually creates a cool effect on the, the drawing itself with the colors. So it has like uh, normally the this brush has a transparency. And transparency causes the colors to merge a little bit more better. So I don't have to mess around with a lot of stuff in settings. So now we actually need to go to the dark side of this thing and uh, find ourselves a cool looking darker stone. There you go. Now we need to color it as well. So now we need to follow up with the parts that need to be drawn a little bit more darker. Like over here needs to be done. Yeah. All right, right over here. I need to do it. And once, and if we don't like how much we did with it, we can just um, get it done. Oh, well, we can remove it a little bit. So that's what I'm going to be doing after I'm done doing the parts that we need to draw in. So, so once we have this up and running a little bit, we can then add some darker color to it and then we can use the blend tool to um, get the parts that are a little bit too heavy drawn with the dark color to get a little bit more softed without ruining the other palettes so that's that's great all right um, now we have done that we now need to get back to this part and switch back to pure pure line because we need to fix the things that we have done. Um, do, 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 do. Because this is the, this is the heaviness of these uh, drawings. As you can see, they are heavy. Heavy lines, like for here. It's heavy lines, and we need to add those lines to it. Yes, we need to add some lines to it. Well. Luckily for me, I have those lines exactly where I want them. So, I'm gonna add some lines to it. Wait, that doesn't work. Now it works. Now, look at that. It already begins to gain shape because we're actually using more lines than before. And because we're doing that, 
this whole damn thing is gonna get more rocky looking instead of you know being just a rock there you go that thing has been successfully transformed into a rock Ooh, very spooky now let's continue So this part right here needs to also be transformed into a better looking rock, so we're gonna do that by adding some more textures to it. As you already can hear the amount of hits I'm doing on the tablet is insane, but yeah. If we want to create rocks, we have to follow the rules of rock. Always make sure that you rock your own world. Alright. There you go. I also need to remove this part right here and then add some more detail to it. Alright. Now I need to remove over here, I need to remove a lot of things like so. Awesome. And the more we do this, the better we get at it. And the more we do at this, the better you know the drawing it gets. And now these rocks stand out. Which is important. So now they're not standing out like they are with the rest of the rocks, right? No, because they're missing something. They're missing a little bit more lighter uh, parts. All right, well, we'll, fi we'll fix that. We'll fix that soon. We're missing a little bit more lighting. Oh, well. I'm not the best at drawing rocks, honestly, but I'm trying to do my very best to make sure that it is the same kind of rocks than the rocks I'm always using. I don't like copy-pasting rocks, that's like, ugh, no thank you. Now these rocks are totally the way they do. All right, good. Now we need to actually get the light parts up and running because holy hell, we're falling behind, people. We're falling behind, and that's not good. We're falling behind with the coloring. Once these rocks are done, I'm gonna be drawing a big giant tree because I'm sick and tired of drawing rocks. Honestly, it's like very hard to do. When you do it, ugh, it takes so long.
get a bl blending going on because I'm not going to be doing this otherwise correctly. Alright, there you go. And now we need a shadow. Uh, shadow. Shadow painting. Painting with shadows. Exactly. Painting with shadows. Ooh, uh, shadow painting. Very spooky. Very nice. There you go. Is that too much? That's too much. Well, good for me that I have this big giant brush that I can use to erase things. Better? Much better. So, this should be the same drawing pencil, right? Yes, it's the same drawing pencil, it's the same thing, but the rocks are different late. But now the rocks are correctly set, the, the highlights are the same. So technically this is the right amount, yeah. Alright, so we actually did it. And we did not gain any uh, GB, so that's good. Alright, um, how much time do we have left? We're now at 30 minutes. That's good. That's good. We're making progress. So now that we draw these rocks, which are honestly just rocks, but we need to have those rocks anyway. We are drawing the rocks. Now we can start with the big giant tree in the top. So now we're going to be drawing the tree a bit and see how we're going to go for it. So we're going to sketch this because... Alright, boop, we can now erase this part. If we erase this, we can erase that. Alright, good, we're gonna now go for the tree. Um, tree, 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 tree. How do I want this tree to be? That's the question for the... Um, so if we have this tree, if I have this big giant tree with overgrown everywhere, I want this to be like so that these roots are connected into the soil. So here's soil, here's soil, here's soil, here. And then goes upwards. So big giant roots going upwards. Multiple roots. So one going in. So the grass is going to be right here. This grass is going to be tiny. It doesn't need any. It needs to be tiny, tiny, very tiny. So this is going to be tiny, and then we have the whole damn thing with the tree. So I'm going to go for that. I'm going to go for overlapping uh, hole. So the tree is going to be like here, and then here is going to be a, a shadow part. Uh, then we're going to go upwards. Now, if I can remember, we can put the holes like such in, in there. So yeah, we're going to be trying to get the things that we want, to get the parts that we need. And we're just going to be sketching this because I'm not trusting myself on pond drawing this instantly correct. So I'm just going to be sketching this bad boy up to see how this is all going to be ending. So if we want to have like big giant, big giant holes into it, well, you know, these uh, tree parts, tree trunky effects, 
need to get some effects into the tree itself. I think we need, for that, we need a reference, otherwise I'm not gonna be doing this properly. Reference tree! I want to see a tree bark. Tree bark. Yes, show me bark. Show me bark. Very long tree a bark. Long. Long tree bark. So as you can see, we can see now this, this is tree bark. So since that we have a big giant tree, honestly, so we can put these things in it, which is normal, moss, moss is always right. But that means most likely that the tree is dead, we don't want that. But we can see like, ah yes, tree bark, bark skin peeled off. And you can see how clean trees are without the bark, it's quite cool. So what I'm looking for is a bit of an oak. Yeah, that that is actually quite a cool effect. That's actually quite cool to see that kind of tree bark. But I'm more likely willing to go for something like that. That. No, where is it? Ah, there you go. That is the tree bark that goes uh, sideways. We don't want that. We have a tree bark that goes like this, like nerves. Alright. Um, so, tree bark skin. We have this kind of tree bark skin, if I'm correct. Yeah, we do. We have this kind of effect into it. So, if we then follow that up with the tree effects on it, we can then precisely go for what we want. So, we want this kind of effect. Well, we don't want the peeling effect, we want the effect that, you know, it, it feels like a tree. That's the idea. We don't need to perfectly do it, we just need to get trees up and running. Alright, hold on. So if we have that kind of tree effect, which probably is gonna be like big trees, so we have these tiny effects, so we have this all up and running. And we need even smaller nerves going up. Right. So we have this tree. This tree needs to go upwards, so the idea is that we're going like that. And we have these trees that just go up, 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 up until they reach the top. So technically over here should be the first uh, of the uh, uh, baseline of the um, arms because of all the tree stuff that has been happening so I think we're gonna go for smaller ones here and then go upwards go like there you go so break broke off stuff sometimes and then go upwards yeah so tiny ones we need tiny effects on this one. So we have this tree part then and then go up. This is a lot of thinking and uh poof. I'm already exhausted from heavily drawing these rocks. Because rocks take a lot of energy out of you because of all the detail that you need to put into it. And I'm now just Moving along, seeing where the tree ends and where the tree begins, and then see how that is going to be going. If I'm correct, the tree should be behind this part, so yes, I should then draw the tree uh, part uh, separately on a different layer. That's for sure. So we have this, and then we can move that part up, like so, and we can go upwards again. So these trees are, you know, going upwards, going wild a little bit, and then go uh, break off once they reach, you know, a new height. So that's what the leaves are supposed to do. So you have a, you have a, you have a, you have, you have a higher part, and then it goes up again and again. So there is no, there are no more uh, lower hanging leaves because that's how these trees work. 
they they try to catch the sun, and uh, once a uh, once a leaf doesn't catch the sun anymore, then well, you know, you just gotta abandon it and then uh, say goodbye to it. There you go, so this is what it's going to be. So now the question is like how big of the tree trunks uh, do I want to go for? So how tiny do I want to go for details and how much of the details do I want to get for it? So I already told you guys that I drew the roots. So technically I should keep up with the roots and how the roots are drawn. So from roots I need to go to bark. So technically I can go for this kind of effect. Yeah, I can go for the, this kind of effect on the tree itself. But it is roots, so technically roots should be the same skin tone as the top part. It's just, you know, less strengthful. It has less strength. That's the main idea with roots. They are, they're the same, and they just go tiny after a while. Alright. Now we've done that, we can now say like, yes, this is a lovely tree, we have these kind of effects on the tree, they makes the tree look tree-like. Alright, so we have this, this kind of tree. Do we like this kind of tree on the part? Yes, we do. But what I want to do is actually move this a little bit downwards, so a little bit more a little more downwards to create the effect of or the illusionary effect that this is a circle so we have two trees right here we have one tree here one tick boy right here this tree is going to be connecting these parts here right here and goes upwards like so so this is one tree And then this is where the grass is, and then the grass is going to be tiny, tiny, tiny. And there's going to be more trees following. So it's going to be trees, 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 trees everywhere, because it's a forest. And the more trees we're going to be drawing, the more, you know, it's going to be overlapping. So tree one, tree two, tree three. These trees are supposed to be not, you know, very... Uh, big, but the idea is that we are going to be drawing grass, and then this is going to be all grass looking effects. So, this is all going to be grass effects in the background. So, grass effect in the background, grass effect in the background. So, we're going to be drawing grass, and we're going to be drawing, drawing it very tiny. So, it's, it's going to be probably like not even like that. It's probably going to be like this. No, I think it's going to be like. I think it's going to be like this. That tiny, that tiny grass, that that kind of grass we're going to draw. It ain't much, but it is truly grass. So this kind of grass we're going to see in the uh, further away parts. So it's going to be like, first it's going to be a little bit more like this, and then it's going to be eventually be like that kind of grass, but then worse. All right, um, I'm almost seeing double, so I should quit. Yeah, I should quit. It's five minutes in for 15 minutes, so I'm I'm gonna be taking a break because otherwise I'm gonna be a little bit more too dizzy, uh, way too dizzy. So um, I hope you all have enjoyed for today from uh, with uh, with the Malfog, and you can already see that uh, uh, next Monday, uh, well not Monday, Tuesday because. Um, I have to uh, go to the birthday of my uh to my granny so um yeah um I hope I'll see you all next time until then I wish you all a lovely day and I hope you have all enjoyed and uh bye